forgetting to come back to class, so that is it's good. Um, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight we have Amanda. She's Hello, a everybody. How are you? Participant of FEST. She's one of the dinosaurs what of FEST. <laughs> the dinosaurs. Yeah, she's, she's uh, one of the responsible for existence of FEST. One of the founders of FEST 10 years ago. Uh, yes. Yeah, more than 10 years, I think. Well, now maybe 12. Yeah. 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 Uh, last week we commemorated the 10 years of their sick, and their sick exists after that. Yeah. So you need to find that date. Uh, we could use just the documentation date, the registration date. Uh, yeah. It's 2008. So you can get into that. We need some celebration in here after 2020. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, yeah. So, um, the announcement is pretty much the same. You're all, now you're all friends of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your first day. So we're going to have the lecture tonight, we have a prayer box up there, we have some friends already, a few people already getting to Zoom. People from Zoom need to come back to PASC, if it's possible. Uh, we miss you here. Um, after the lecture of today that is going to be talking about Emmanuel, like an inspiration of love and, and work, um, we're going to have the prayer box. And then after that, the healing passes, and after the healing passes, you can go home. Uh, otherwise, if you're in need of a spiritual assistance, just put your name on the book, and then we can talk later. All right? Any volunteers read a little message book? And any volunteers for our initial prayer? No, Which one are you going to choose? My glass. My glass. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> oh, sure. Can you share glasses? Can you glasses? Like, is that is the same degree? No. 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 <laughs> yeah, mine I'm not, not even going to try to offer because mine is very special. It's just free. And then you just open. Yes. Any initial prayer? You can do the initial prayer. You can read but you can talk. <laughs> Everyone. Hi, Colleen. Hi, Ivan. Hello. Hi, Karina. Yes, there are two over there. Hi, Karina. Hi, Colleen. <laughs> So, yeah, if you can read in an abstract and then you prepare for us. Yes. Be thankful for your karma. Do not criticize your brothers. For this being, for, for this brings about disintegration in your own being, in your own life. Instead, look in love and thankfulness for those with whom your karma has brought you in. Into your association. So let's now come down the thoughts. Let's try to feel the energy of the space. Let's try to feel the presence of our um, spiritual mentors. Let's welcome with our heart full of gratitude to. Here the man on the steam, let's be thankful to them. We prepare that place for us. Let's take, let's be right and great as well, grateful for to our members for making this opportunity for us to be here. Let's open our minds, open our hearts for the blessings that we have here as well. Why we are we are listening. For one of this message today. Let's ask for the, for the team, for the best team to inspire among them.
True. Almost there. Okay. Right. I think we could go and then I can just change here now, amigo. Okay. No, that's good. Okay, everybody. So, welcome to PESC tonight. It's a pleasure to be here again, 2021. After, you know, 2020 being a bit of a different year for us. So, it's good to be together again and, uh, you know, discuss some ideas um, about spiritism, spirituality, and, um, you know, the message that um, we're trying to you know, communicate here at PESC. So, um, you know, the, the topic of today is um, Emmanuel. And I was quite surprised to see this topic because I think it's a first, to a first time in PESC. Yeah, here we, we're going to introduce some, like, uh, not like, well, we're going to introduce the topic of we could learn a bit of them. Their the history. Yes, yes, absolutely. And no, oh, and, and I thought it was great. I really thought it was a good idea. And you know, as I um, actually studied for the lecture, um, it was actually very interesting to learn about Emmanuel and obviously um, you know some of the, the message that he has. Amazing. Uh, everybody knows Emmanuel because he was or oh, he is the spirit that helped Chico Xavier um, to put all his spiritual work together, okay? So that is how we most know Emmanuel. And obviously, um, you know, I, I'm going to talk about this throughout the lecture, but something that I did was, uh, sorry, let me just go back a step. You know, I actually, never really read too much about like Emmanuel books because I thought the language was quite um, complex you know, with difficult words that I like more plain kind of Portuguese. So it wasn't like my favorite book in terms of uh, reading, but when I did this lecture and I was going through some of his messages, it was quite meaningful and, you know, quite illuminated. So obviously, you know, that tells a lot about the spirit that he is, about the soul that he is, uh, you know, even without uh, mentioning all of the good books and good work that he has developed with Chico Xavier. So let's start our lecture. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a face for the main, uh, obviously that, Emmanuel used it to appear to Chico Xavier when he was alive. Uh, you know, I don't know, will be almost 70 years, uh, you know, uh, from now, no, in the past. So um, this is actually is a painting that was um, created by Delfino Filho, a pedido de, oh, sorry, uh, because Chico Xavier um, asked him. Uh, around the 1940s and so obviously we know that the soul you know as uh, it uh, incarnates and reincarnates uh, it changes uh, the appearance and this particularly uh, particularly uh, appearance uh, of Emmanuel is from um, the Roman center uh, I don't know if you have uh, read the book 2000 years ago that he um, that he uh, tells his, uh, his story and he was a, a Roman senator I think it's Jubius or Lubius his name yeah Publio yeah that's right can you repeat that again yeah yeah Publio yeah Publio Lentulius yeah and um, so uh, that's pretty much uh, how he used it to look like when he had uh, that life as the Roman senator. Uh, the interesting fact is that actually the first time that Emmanuel appeared for Chico, uh, it was throughout, actually there are two appearances. Uh, so the first time that he really appeared for Chico, first, first time around, was when Chico went to pray and meditate, calls to a, a sort of a, 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 a dam, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, as, as suji, I don't know how to say that in English. Yeah. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, something like that. And um, she could have other people actually uh, with him at that time. But he was the only one who actually saw Emmanuel. And at that time, actually, Emmanuel had a more um, older appearance that was very similar to the last appearance that he had when last, the last reincarnation. So he was not as uh, young as uh, uh, that picture there. Um, so that was the first, first appearance. And there was a pele communication. I don't know yet, telepathic communication. Uh, from Emmanuel to Chico. Uh, they didn't really talk verbally, but um, you know, the, the communication um, definitely happened uh, via thoughts. And this, and then he didn't appear for another number of years because in his head, not in his head, but what it said is that Emmanuel wanted to let Chico maturely grow, like maturely, uh, sorry, grow spiritually in order to be able to achieve what he needed to achieve. So it was maybe five, let's say five years later that he appeared again to Chico in a spiritist house, actually. And then as well as a more older uh, persona, an older appearance spirit. And, um, you know, and that's where they started um, their work. So, yes, Emmanuel did look like that, but that was like an appearance from one reincarnation uh, that he had as the Roman, the Roman senator, Publio. <laughs> Publio. Huh? Oh, yeah, sorry, it's in Portuguese, true. I, I probably couldn't uh, find anyone in English, but I, I will just uh, translate. So uh, I will actually mention um, five, of, uh, five thoughts from Emmanuel, five messages from Emmanuel that I thought was really meaningful because just really reflect you know, the type of elevated spirit and so that he is, and as well his message, really, you know, very simple message uh, that to me, they are very important, okay? So here he's saying, avoid uh, unhappy matters or, you know, happers that are not filled of joy or, you know, uh, let's say even, let's say, uh, I think in this context is more like matters that are not really important, matters that don't bring you anything positive. So here he's saying when you speak, um, please um, speak in favor of tranquility and elevation. So I, I, this message is important to me because first of all, I think uh, it's really about, you know, us focusing on um, matters and topics that bring us growth, bring us development, uh, rather than futilities, rather than things uh, superficial. And I think that this is important because that is what will, you know, take us to another level in terms of uh, our spiritual being and, you know, all the, the good things that we can do for other people. So I, I, it's a very simple message, you know, three, three lines there, um, but I thought this is simple and direct and actually something that, um, you know, we forget most of the time, especially when we, you know, uh, we have like uh, lower emotions, anger or, you know, jealousy or, you know, so for us really to focus on what is important and what make us grow, you know, spiritually. Uh, the second one, sorry, everybody's in Portuguese. Sorry, Colleen is in Portuguese, but I will translate. So, thought is life. Life is creation. Creation comes from, um, you know, desire, and desire is a seed. So, a seed that is planted in um, in a soil, um, in a let's say in a in a, in a soil of action, uh, can bring you the. Um, Ooh, how can I say that? It can bring you the, like the, the outcome. Um, you guys can help me if you like. Yeah, uh, it's, sorry, it's a bit on the spot here, this translation, I, I, I must confess. So, in a, in a, in action land. brings the, the, the fruit that was, 
Yeah. Yeah. So a seed planted in the in the land of in the, in the land of action that brings the corresponding fruit. The corresponding <laughs> Something fruit. like so that. Whatever, yeah, whatever you, you, is the seed yeah, whatever you plant, is yeah, whatever you cultivate, yeah. that's what you're going yeah, to exactly. to. Uh, so sorry, so whatever, whatever. Yeah, harvest. Every seed produces something. The choice is ours. So that's why I explained that always a seed brings a fruit. The fruit that it brings is the most. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Because on the uh, and, and I guess to me, uh, I, when I um, chose this particular message from Emmanuel, it's more really in regards to how we need to look after our thoughts, how we need to look after our actions, and our thoughts and actions will give us consequences in the future. And if we're not ready to actually accept those consequences. Um, you know, it's really our choice. And that's pretty much what he's saying here. Whatever we plant, we're going to harvest, you know, and, and that's to do with karma as well. And it's not about good karma or bad karma. Karma is karma. You cultivate, doesn't matter. Sorry, you plant, doesn't matter, good or bad, you're going to harvest later on. So it's very important that we are very careful about that, especially in our thoughts, especially in our words, especially in our actions. Those three things are very important. And, um, you know, this is not only uh, the spiritism uh, you know, uh, that it just brings. This is in any spiritual, any religion, you know, it, it, that is pretty basic. So it just shows us as well that although Emmanuel is helping, um, you know, uh, had a lot of methods and you know wrote many books of Chico to spread the spirits. He's actually just you know spreading our universal law, our universal truth. So um, this I thought was quite quite nice as well. And uh, another one is uh, the truth is light. Um, uh, only uh, only the heart that is fed by love and a brain that is you know, um, fed by uh, wisdom can uh, reflect, you know, like uh, grandeza, how do you say grandeza? Greatness. Yeah, greatness, that's, that's great, thank you. <laughs> that's great, greatness is great. <laughs> um, and this is very important, guys, because it's very good, it's awesome for us to love, but it's, they, God gave us not only our heart to love, but also our brain to think. And everything we do, we need to have both. If we want to be successful and if we want to live our lives fully to the max, we need to have our, our love inside our hearts and our wisdom inside our heads and act uh, you know, accordingly. Uh, and I thought this is actually, it, it's, it's very, uh, you know, it's very nice. Um, the truth, obviously, um, is something that everybody's seeking, you know, in life, in terms of achieving. Uh, another one, uh, and I think, yeah, uh, another one is, um, so keep the experience, okay, this is a little bit more difficult, so I might just give you the message rather than reading the whole thing. Um, but um, what he's pretty much saying here is that, um, you know, uh, obviously if you want to follow, um, you know, Jesus uh, or being a Christian, a, a true Christian, we need to really um, follow the, 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 the teachings of Jesus. And Emmanuel was very, very, very strong. Actually, uh, his mission was, yes, helping Chico Xavier to produce all the good work that he has done. But much more profound than that is that he is helping the world to know the message of Jesus Christ. So his mission is actually spreading Christianity, you know, uh, into the world and bring those messages, materialize those messages to people like us so we can achieve enlightenment, all right? Um, and here he also says um, about the fact that it's not only, you know, uh, 
here more than you know we 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 looking for a religion we we need to really be spiritual so obviously here he's talking about um the spiritism and spiritualism but he's saying here to me that really the important thing is that you have spirituality inside you and you actually practice that in order for you to really um follow the christian um you know lessons you need to have that inside yourself. Not so much, you know, which uh, the side of the Christian, uh, the Christian lessons you follow, right, but really be spiritual and understand the truth of the message about the Christian and what Jesus Christ at us wants us to do. Um, so um, this one is um, more like saying that humility is not in being poor, or you know, not being in um, necessity, or you know, uh, the the humility really is about you, you know, not painting, uh, not judging, uh, not you know. Uh, so if somebody, let me explain a better way. So you know, instead of us judging, instead of us, um, you know, criticizing. You know, even if the person has done something to us, we just bless that person. This is really important because usually when somebody actually does something that we don't actually like, we say bad words, we, you know, curse the person sometimes. And what he's saying here is like, don't do any of that. You might have the right to be hurt, but bless, always bless. And it's something actually that if you get into the habit, you start realizing that sometimes as you do, um, you know, you judge too much and you criticize too much, but instead of that, the blessing, you know, sending love to that person, that is the best thing. So apologies that I couldn't really, you know, read exactly what was in English because it was a bit of a spot and I actually didn't even realize that it was in Portuguese. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much, I just wanted to bring this the message because I think it's really about you you know a soul from what the soul is passing to us in terms of messages and those messages just show you know how great um, Emmanuel is so so let's start talking about um, you know Emmanuel himself so um, Emmanuel um, was the name given by Chico Xavier to this soul this entity that um, helped him with his workshop, with the mediumship. And uh, as we know, Chico Xavier psychograph, uh, you know, psychograph it, uh, psychograph it, many books. Uh, and Emmanuel was, you know, uh, with a big involvement in with all this work, okay? Um, Emmanuel was much more than a Chico's spiritual advisor. Uh, Emmanuel was more like a father for Chico. And um, actually in two books, one for sure, that is the uh, 2000 years, uh, Shiko was actually a um, daughter, back, you know, in that reincarnation, Shiko was a daughter um, of Emmanuel, uh, you know, uh, physically, uh, you know, genetically saying. Um, and this relationship between both of them actually, you know, was, uh, happening throughout, you know, a, a long time. Um, Chico Xavier, uh, sorry, uh, Emmanuel, as I was saying, he was much more like a father for Chico Xavier because Emmanuel not only helped Chico to, you know, pass on the messages and write the books, but he was always there to guide Chico in terms of his attitudes. He would be a bit harsh at Chico if he needed to be. Uh, and, and even there is a bit of a reputation that, um, you know, Emmanuel is, um, uh, is not a harsh, you know, he's a bit um, too firm. serious, firm, yeah, firm is a better word, thank you, Alex. Um, and, and, and actually, yeah, that is true, so when um, Emmanuel needed to be uh, firm at Chico, he would be, but he was very loving as well, and um, more often than not, he used it to refer to Chico as his son. So there was really this, you know, it's 
it was about being a spiritual mentor, about coordinating his work because Chico has done just so much. Like really, he has done so much, as you as you know. And uh, you know, Emmanuel was there. Uh, have you heard about that uh, uh, the plane? Yeah. Uh, have you heard about that, that that situation? So I don't know if all of you better uh, heard, but I'll tell you. So uh, Chico uh, Chico was in a plane flying and the plane started losing attitude and everybody started to scream and go crazy into the, the plane. Obviously the place was falling and Chico obviously being a human being, he started screaming with everybody. And then Emmanuel got really angry, not angry, but Emmanuel was really from here, Chico, stop screaming. Die with dignity, for God's sake, <laughs> you know, like saying, why are you scared? Like, you know, because Chico was scared and screaming and obviously, like, if you see Chico uh, Chabert is screaming into the plane, you know, you're probably going to do it as well. And Emmanuel was like, no, mate, like, you know, calm down. If you're going to die, die with dignity. Quiet, you know, and, and, and like, I mean, you know, yeah, and if you think of it, it's like, oh, yeah, true, you know, it res resonates with you. Uh, but yeah, so this is one of the moments that is very well known, uh, you know, in terms of uh, how he, he was firm and how he guided Shiku. Really this feeling that even though like, we are spiritual and we know that our life is, is an eternal life in the spiritual world, <laughs> I, I, I mean, everybody who has that moment that we can see our life receding from the past, we're gonna be scared. Oh right? yeah. Like an yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. No, I totally agree with you. Totally agree. Um, and I and I also agree to the fact that yeah, it's 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 changed, and uh, we know that we have this instinct in order to preserve our life. Anyway, that's um, that's why God, God gave us this attachment to life. So we could be here and live fully, you know, um, you know, and achieve whatever we need to achieve in here. Um, okay, so going on. So uh, the first time that Emmanuel appeared to Chico was in 1927 in his uh, mother's farm. Oh, oh, sorry, it's in the other, I will show you. So it's in here. That was um, the place. Uh, so in according to Shiku, he just heard a voice and he glimpsed it. So that's the thing. He is it saying that it was a ma majestic and brilliant young man in priestly, in priestly uh, robes. <laughs> and, and, and actually there was a little bit of contradiction because I just told you that he was more like older. Um, so uh, to be honest with you, I am not too sure whether this particular information that I put it there is incorrect because I actually heard from um, somebody that works at Feb, I was listening to some YouTube uh, videos about Emmanuel and from that person that was talking, um, he said that, you know, actually he had his older appearance uh, that I've explained to you when first he's appeared. So I think that is a bit of a contradictory, but this is not important anyway. Um, and that's where I saw Chico was quite young, and but Emmanuel appeared much later, uh, you know, in around 1930s. And this information is quite accurate in terms of when he, uh, you know, they started working together as a mentor and a mentee. So, yeah, so this is the picture um, of the farm. Uh, okay. So... Uh, this one okay so this is um uh Shiko saying that um yeah so Shiko said that Emmanuel has been for me a true father in spiritual mm -hmm. life for the affection with he uh, in uh, with which he tolerates my failures and the kindness with which he repeats the lessons that I must learn so just show that that you know Emmanuel was really there to to, to support Shiko doesn't
Manuel was very well known for. He was very strong in the discipline. And this is just amazing because not only Emmanuel, but other enlightened entities um, always told us that if we wanted to get anything done in life, you need to have consistency, you need to have one pointedness and you need to have discipline. You've got to work. You can't use laziness as an excuse. And poor Chico, like not poor, because he, he was just great really. Um, he used it to sleep really few hours a night. He used it to work full time. He used it to do his um, work in his spiritist center. He used it to psychograph all those books that he did. So Chico really had a lot on in his plate. And you know, and in order to achieve what he achieved, uh, you must be so focused and with so much discipline all the time. And I think Emmanuel was absolutely a very uh, important factor uh, that really helped uh, Chico to um, accomplish his mission. Now, um, you know, it's funny because here uh, they say that, uh, you know, we have 30 books to start. But actually, um, they wrote. Oops, sorry. Um, they were. Uh, they were. Uh, sorry, they wrote more than 110 books. Okay. Um, so if they wanted to start with 30, but they actually developed much more than that uh, to see such a successful partnership that they had. And those books they ranged from, you know, counseling books to, uh, you know, books with a more biblical, na uh, biblical nature, um, letters, messages, uh, novels, um, you know, and other uh, uh, genres that uh, was translated to many, many languages. Um, so she was disincarnated when he was um, aged 92 years old. I remember that day. Um, uh, it was when Brazil actually won the Tetra Campeonato, eh? wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Fifth? Was it fifth? Oh, okay, I thought it was Tetra. I think it's seventeen. Huh? No, Tetra was 1994. Yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't then when. No, she... no. It wasn't true. Oh, okay. She... Oh, okay. I thought it was that. So anyway, it doesn't matter. But, uh, and I remember that actually Shiku said that he wanted to disincarnate on the day that, you know, the, the, yeah, that the country wouldn't really miss. And what about such a coincidence, isn't it? That we were so happy that we, we won the, the championship, the Copa championship. I don't even know, uh, World, uh, World Soccer. Yeah. Um, so uh, Emmanuel did not appear to others. Um, he did appear uh, in some instances very, very in the beginning in the Spiritual Center, but um, he was quite, uh, you know, he was, he didn't want uh, the materialization actually to get, uh, to take away the focus of the work. Uh, the focus of the work was to psychograph messages and books and, you know, spread the message, wasn't appearances, wasn't materialization on any of that. So that's why he asked it if he could stop appearing um, to, to the workers in the Spirit Center and he would prefer just appear to, to Chico. And that's what happened there. Um, so here, um, so what is happening to Emmanuel? What happened? So um, it's, it's um, known or it's expected that Emmanuel has actually reincar uh, reincarnated already uh, in Brazil, in Sao Paulo. Uh, and uh, we know that because Chico, in one of the interviews, as I um, explained here, he said, Emmanuel says that he will undoubtedly return to reincarnation, but he doesn't say exactly the precise moment that that will happen. In his words, uh, sorry, in his words, he'll be returning um, to, to Earth. At the present century, uh, probably in the last decade, and uh, there is a um, a meeting that it, that is uh, it's a woman, and she was a personal friend of Chico. She said that Emmanuel did reincarnate, as I said, in São Paulo uh, in the 1990s, uh, more or less. Um, so, uh, but there is nothing really. You know, like obviously if she reincarnated and she as well has passed. So, um, so this is about some of the bibliography 
and also the past lives of uh, Emmanuel. So in the book 2000 years ago that he was the, um, the Roman senator Publio Lentulus um, and Chico was actually his daughter, uh, a lady called Flavia. And um, this particular book actually also describes uh, the moment that uh, Emmanuel actually had a direct contact with Jesus uh, in life. And that experience marked him a lot because um, Jesus did offer Emmanuel a changing life. Back then he was this uh, Roman senator that was very um, connected to material and status, pos status position. And um, then Emmanuel refused to, to follow Jesus. And, uh, you know, and obviously uh, that had a big impact on him in terms of his journey. Um, uh, he also wrote another book called 50 Years Later, uh, that's where he was a uh, slave uh, named Nestorio. And the purpose of uh, this uh, reincarnation was really to um, uh, pretty much uh, repair the mistakes that he has done when he was Publio Lentulus, okay? Uh, there is also this book, uh, Renunciation, that he, um, he was incarnate, incarnated as Father Dominiano uh, in, a, in a Spanish city of Avila. There are, look, I, I searched a lot the internet about the reincarnations of Emmanuel, and there was more references, um, you know, the, those books, they were wrought by Emmanuel, by Chico Xavier. The other, the other uh, references that I had were from other authors, and it's not always that those reincarnations were confirmed to be as his. So I didn't really want to bring here, uh, you know, and show information that I, I, I'm not too sure if it's uh, if it's true or not. But those ones are definitely, uh, especially because he was the one who, who um, you know, helped Chico to to write those books. So. And um, there is also more books um, that he wrote. Um, so the ones that we know, like uh, those ones, the, the, the books at the, the third point there, Verdade Vida, uh, Pão Nosso, Vinha de Luz, uh, they, especially Pão Nosso, Pão Nosso I read, uh, they're more messages, okay? They're more messages than uh, Christian messages that um, you know, uh, give you different topics um, that, um, you know, Emmanuel wanted to talk about, all topics that are within the dissemination of the Christian values. And um, I told you that he, you know, in the 2000 years ago book where he, he had that direct experience with Jesus, um, and he refused. Uh, I think that's why he's just so strong in his mission in terms of disseminating the, 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 the Christian message because he kind of feels, uh, you know, not guilty because there is no guilt really, but um, it's, it's more about to, to really what he should have done back then. Now he's, you know, uh, bringing all those messages to the world and to us in order to guide us to, to go through the right path. Um, and that bo those books there, Avi, Cristo and Renunciation, uh, they really focus on the birth of Christianity and also, um, you know, try to um, explain the defects in a, more, in a not so in a distorted way. Let's put it this way too. Um, for me, for is one of the books that most hate me like with um, love, like the, not the doctrine, but like the teachings of Jesus. Holy yeah. Stephen. Holy Stephen, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Holy Stephen, Stephen, yeah, yeah. For me, for me, it's one of the strongest books and was, I always cry reading spirit books, but that one like really take it like, yeah. went deep. And I, I think if everyone needs to read that one book, that's, That's the one. one because you go from learning, like you get all the suffering and all the things that involve, and how you, when you see yourself as like not perfect, 
and then what the treasure, uh, what the, the, the path that um, Paul um, uh, got. And then when he was feeling like not working and what he become, it's a very inspirational for us that many times we don't feel that we are worth it. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you com not compare, but if you read and look what he did and what he become, mm -hmm. and you say, oh, there is hope for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've always heard that Paul and Stephen is an awesome book. I haven't had the opportunity to read, as I said. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I think it's in English. Yeah, yeah, yes. I think in English. So no excuses now. We've, we've got to read it. Uh, but I, I did. Yeah, as I said, I did hear it's uh, it's an amazing book. So and there is also our book on YouTube. Yeah. Oh really? Oh, yeah. our yeah. book is good. Yeah. In YouTube. Oh, that's good. Yeah. There's books on YouTube. Like two thousand years. There is, but that is in Portuguese. It's a uh, like a. Radio novel. Yeah. So there is all the. Oh, yeah. is it? It's really cool. Uh, like, it's like, really cool. Yeah. 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 Can find our books. Oh, nice. Like, we're listening in the car. Yeah, yeah. Like half an hour drive, yeah. Half an hour. It's just better than listening to Yeah, exactly. And, and that's what he was pretty much saying about, you know, like obviously he was talking about, you know, focusing on not on, you know, lower emotion or things that, but but that's pretty much it. It's focusing on, you know, like oh, nice. Use time. Yeah, use, exactly. Because we don't have a lot. If you think about it, we don't have a lot of time. You know, our journey nurse is very short. And that's why it's just so important. We have discipline and we don't lose focus on what is not important, you know, what is superficial. And Emmanuel was firm, um, you know, exactly for this reason. And, and, and I think uh, it's amazing if we can have, you know, the discipline that he had and, um, you know, there are all the ones, um, Camino da Luz, um, Emmanuel, Vidas de Chico Xavier. So I have, um, you know, Chico Xavier, Light, uh, I don't know how to say Vinha da Luz. Light, light Vine. Is that how the translation? Yeah, I mean, light, light Vine. Yeah. But I don't think Vidas of Chico Xavier uh, and Vinha de Luz was uh, written by Chico, obviously, was after he disincarnated. <laughs> He left a lot of books to be published after his death. It was really. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, no, I, I, I don't think, uh, sorry, because this particular slide, um, I've done it just, um, you know, in the car. Uh, I couldn't actually put it in the, uh, the, the author there, but I didn't think it was Chico, but I, 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 will, I will clarify. I'll clarify. Yeah, I, can, I can say for sure it was him, but I know some of his book was published after his death. Yes. Was him who did it. Ah, cool. He just, left, he just left for you. Very good. Very good. Guys, that's <laughs> it um, uh, for today. And it's good because it's eight o'clock uh, punctually. So, um, look, um, to me, really, it's not, as I said to you, you know, I, I, I see that, you know, Dai and probably Alex, you know, have read the, the, the books and like, you know, themselves. I'm not too sure about you guys if you read, have you? Yeah. Uh, I haven't really had like one, but I, you know, read plenty of messages of Emmanuel. And even for this um, lecture, as I brought you some of the messages that are important to me, simple messages that bring you an important message and keep you in your toes in terms of focusing and, you know, um, give importance to what really matters. And, uh, you know, the mission of Emmanuel is still happening because what he wanted is to spread the Christian values. He wanted us to be able to connect to his message and learn and, you know, practice in our lives. And he completed the first step by writing so many books and so many messages. Now, the second step and the complete step is like that we learn that and we apply in our own lives. So, 
you know, uh, his mission is Chico and Emmanuel to, to build a better, a better world, to, you know, to, to improve ourselves to, to grow spiritually so um that just said there is Paul and Stephen here for Harry so please feel free to do it we have 50 years oh there we go but we do have a thousand years, uh, two thousand years ago, and fifty years ago, we <coughs> take a party. <coughs> but those two that are the first thing we teach. <coughs> Okay, so guys, thank you. I'm sorry about the message in Portuguese, but thank you very much. And I hope that you can read more Emmanuel messages, um, you know, in books after this lecture. Thank you very much, guys. Um, I can't see then. Uh, do you guys want to say anything? They are all muted. How do you mute, unmute? Them? If they don't speak. Yeah, well, then they raise hands or something? Yeah. Thank you very much. Cool. All right. No worries. So now we're going to go um, with our prayer box. So has everybody written names? And yeah, if you haven't, just, um, just uh, mentalize the name of the people that you want to bless while we um, sing our prayer. So let's just now engage with the moment of silence and peace and let's let's um, focus our thoughts into this moment in which we will send positive energy to our brothers and sisters in need so in order to do that, I ask that you gently inhale and exhale this amazing air that is available to us, that feeds our body, keep us alive, keep our cells working to provide this amazing life. And slowly, we will drift into a mindset, a mindset of peace, tranquility, and in this moment, we Kindly ask the light spirits in our Supreme Court to bless our brothers and sisters in need. We bless our brothers and sisters with love, with understanding with compassion, with forgiveness, with the spirit of reconciliation. With kindness, with joy and with happiness. We kindly ask to the light spirits of this house to direct and you guys can metalize, you can visualize this, a pink light 
a pink light spreading from the center to all the people, all the brothers and sisters that we have in our minds, that have their names written in the prayer box. This pink light that represents love, that represents affection, support, is traveling from here to those in need, bringing them enlightenment, bringing them the strength that they need to overcome the situation they're going through. This light now transforms itself in a golden light and will bring so many blessings, blessings that will help our brothers and sisters to improve their lives. And in your own intimacy now, you can send to our brothers and sisters your wish, your wish of that they are supported, that they are loved. that they have in their journey, the illumination and the awareness that they need to overcome any obstacle. Through our hearts and through our souls, we send love, compassion, peace, joy, light, goodwill, and willingness to do good. This pink and bright light that is coming from this center, from us, from the light spirits to our brothers and sisters, will remain active, until the blessings are fully completed, until the blessings are actually achieved. And in enlightened love, we say thank you for the light spirits. We say thank you to Pedro Emmanuel for the support, for the energy, for the love. And we humbly send God's blessing to all those light workers so they can be blessed as well for helping us and helping our brothers and sisters. So be it. Amen. Thank you. Bye, guys.